This is my mate, my, my tea. Um, all this driving at night and checking early, this is what wakes me up, energize me a little bit. This is the one that I take in my surfing adventures. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Manuel Rezano. They call me Manny. It's easier. I'm 35 years old and was born in Argentina. I'm also a citizen of Nicaragua, but I grew up very far from the ocean, like five hours away. That was uh, the beginning, you know, for me. My first trip likely was to Hawaii. So even though I didn't have much experience, I had one of my brothers already there. I gained a lot of experience in a short time. The first day I got to Nicaragua, I just saw that thing speeding and I'm like, oh, I want to surf there. And so yeah, I spent a lot of time behind that wave, surfing by myself many times, uh, many years, uh, or with a small crowd. Well, I always had a big interest in, in Mavericks because when Mavericks came up, it was the heaviest wave uh, in the world, right? And so I grew up looking at pictures. It would be my dream to get a 20-foot wave there. I don't get paid to surf, so I had to work in a lot of logistics so I could come and spend time here. Finally, I got all the logistics right. I was here for two months, and then a big day came and I was prepared for it. Got canisters in there. Got canisters that are full, and I made sure that they were full. That one, not so much. <laughs> wow, looks like Jaws. <laughs> that is fully barreled. First in the water. Travis. My board disconnected and then it reconnected and I thought I, I had everything hit the bottom and it must have been kind of a trough and just started going over the bars. I think I had one leg up in the air and I had just like this moment of like, can I pull this? And then the lip landed right on me square. You are insane. 
I showed up at the parking lot, ready to surf. And it actually, it, it, took me, it took me more than an hour and a half to get out. I was falling out, my brother was there too. We were struggling. I lost my board. He came to help me, he lost his board as well. So we're both swimming, you know, in the middle of nowhere, boards are gone. And I'm thinking, I can't believe I'm missing my, my day. You know, I gotta be out there. What, what am I doing here? So finally, I found the board somewhere there, you know, paddled back out. And when I got out there, I was like, all right, now, you know, I went through all this. I, I gotta get a wave, a big wave. And yeah, I remember after half an hour or so waiting for my turn, this wave came and I, I thought, well, this is a big one. And grabbed it, stood up, and I'm so happy that I'm finally standing up on this wave and, and I started to go backwards. I remember how it like, like, I'm like, whoa, what's going on, you know? <clears throat> the wave was sucking so much from the reef that I started to go back and then air drop and luckily I made it. <laughs> and you know, yeah. second wave, a really good one, and then I got a third wave, and then all the jet skis came and said, hey, what's your name? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I remember that, but that was funny, you know?